Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, didn't expect to be back again so soon, but here I am. Um, looks like I've been on a bit of a spending spree. Uh, so I have two unboxings to do today. Um, if my eyes keep shifting, it is because I'm filming on my iPad today because I'm fed up with every time I use my camera, it keeps saying it's overheating. Um, and then I have to stop filming and then I keep forgetting what I'm talking about, um, having to rewind it. And then uh, it's just a whole big palaver. So I thought if I tried doing it on my iPad today, then I could keep it plugged in. But because the camera is right on the edge there, um, it's <laughs> very distracting when I can see my face right there, but I need to remember to look there. So do excuse me if I am looking shifty, but I do. Oh, also, if you could let me know the quality of this video, that would be really helpful because if I can film on my iPad, it would make my life so much easier. But obviously, if the quality isn't very good, I'll go back to the camera or get a new camera because I've got to do something. It's honestly, it's driving me nuts. Um, and also, I should probably mention that my daughter is in her bedroom, which is in the next room behind me. And she has a friend over and they are two teenage girls and they are being rather loud. I have to with them to keep it down. But um, I'm sure you can appreciate that they've got the giggles and yeah, they keep shrieking. So no one's being murdered. It's just two teenage girls in the next room. But anyway, let's get on. So I have two items. This is the same item in two different colours because I saw them both come up. I panicked. I wasn't sure which one I wanted. So I thought if I get both, um, I can decide how, which one I want to keep um, and then send the other one back. Well, hopefully. Um, I'm sure it'll be in the title of this video and it'll be on the thumbnail so i'm not going to like keep it a secret what's in the boxes this is the um louis vuitton tiger armor coin card holder um, and i got it in both of the new colors um i have wanted one of these for ages the first one that i ever saw was a neon yellow one and i absolutely fell in love with it but obviously as these things happen and um, by the time that i'd seen it they were all sold out then i came across another one which was a neon pink which like my lipstick kind of the same color as my lipstick and my hair um which is my absolute favorite color um and by the time i saw that one that was was also sold out so I always check online to see if any pre-loved ones come up and I did find one pre-loved but the original retail price of these I think is um, 275 each yes yeah. so these cost 275 pounds now which is the price after the price increase that happened recently before that I think they were 245 pounds or around there anyway and the one that I found is pre-loved and it's £345, which would be fine if it was brand new in box, you know, in brand new condition, but it's not. It's kind of beaten up. Um, the glazing around the edge was kind of bashed up and almost looked like it was fraying. And I was that close to buying it. And then these popped up. And I could not believe it. I was literally just about to buy the bashed up one because I wanted it so badly. And then I saw these pop up. Now, I'll be honest with you, these colours are not my number one colours. But what I wanted to do was actually get them and see them, you know, in real life. Um, and see if I thought the colour would work for me. There is one that's called Fiery Red. I'm just going to get opening them because I'm waffling now. Um, there's one called Fiery Red and the other one, which I didn't even have my eye on at all originally, is called Gunmetal Silver or Gunmetal Grey. I'll uh, put, it, put it up on the screen. Um, and the reason that I wanted to try that one is because 
just looking at just glancing at it it kind of looks like black and gray you and you think oh boring do you know what i mean um but i think it might be metallic so i'm really excited to have a look and find out if it is um i don't know what is in each box so i'm just gonna open one and see what happens so let's get opening the first box oh my god i always struggle with these boxes so, so these were just delivered today it's not like me to actually um open them on the day they get them it's usually a few days later by the time i get a chance to do it but i was so itching to see what these look like that i had to had to get on here straight away right here we go here is the first one and then inside we have the beautiful orange box so on the outside of the packaging it comes with an envelope I think this has got the receipt in it the gift receipt well it did in my last item that i had from there yeah so when you order from louis vuitton now you get on the outside of the packaging there is a gift receipt so just bear in mind that if you if you're buying if you're buying anything from there don't throw this away because it's attached to the outside of the box like that and you can't actually tell what's inside um so that's that but it also comes with the regular um Louis Vuitton paperwork inside but here we go here is the box and I'll undo the ribbon I always hate this part because it always looks so neat and I hate destroying it let's have a look oh my god eight minutes in and i still haven't got the first box i'm useless at this right so here we go inside we have the dust bag this is oh, this is the red one okay i'm excited okay so this is the louis vuitton coin card holder in the tiger rama fiery red colour so here we go so the main colour is this kind of neon almost like a corally orange red um, and then the LVs and the flowers are more of a like a I suppose like a berry red almost like a Christmas red um, and this is made from I believe this is canvas coated canvas and then the um, this part here and this part here are leather um, so it comes with three slots there um, for your cards so you can put the cards in there and then there's also one slot here on the back there is one long slip pocket and then you have the silver hardware with the LV on the zipper. It is gusseted down the side so it opens a little bit wider and then inside it is lined in leather I believe and it says Louis Vuitton Paris made in Italy and it comes with these are the new um, little like care label things, not care labels, textile, textile labels. Um, so it just says coated fabric and fascetta leather there. Um, and I'm going to open the other one so we can compare the two colours. Right. So this is the second one again with the lovely yellow orange box with the blue ribbon and i will quickly open this one Oops. inside we have another dust bag and inside here oh, it is metallic so let me just double check oh my god look at that oh my god 
so this is called okay it was called gun wait wait because now i feel like i'm going mad so i don't know exactly what has happened but this was 100 percent called gun metal gray or gun metal silver um let me check my order yeah um it was literally called uh gun metal Th this one's called gun metal um which is it is metallic this is silver um now it is called silver you know fondly enough um you cannot tell very easily on the website this is metallic or gray um and i was hoping beyond hope that it was metallic um i think if this was more um easily known that this was metallic um i think this would be really really popular because that is so cool so this is like a a pewter um like gunmetal does you know describe this color well um it's kind of a dark silver um with a metallic sheen and then the lvs are like a charcoal gray they're not metallic i don't think um no they're matte the yeah the logos are matte and the actual canvas is silver and then on this side you have the canvas here and the leather here with three card slots and the slip pocket has a slip pocket here the same as the red one and then inside we have oh my god it's even lined in silver it's so cool so this one also says louis vuitton paris made in italy so they are both made in italy i will show you those together so these are the two new colors in the coin card holder tigerama um what do you think they're pretty amazing uh it's gonna be a hard decision to choose which one to keep which one do you guys think i should keep which one oh, hello <laughs> which one um do you like the best the silver or this red um I think I'm going to have to take them out in natural daylight and um, see what they look like, you know, in, in a different light. But, oh my God, they're both beautiful. So I'm not sure what the quality is like on this um, iPad. I hope you can see all the details well enough there um they really are showstoppers both of them that red is really stunning that this silver is really unusual they're so beautiful and um, let's check the glazing as well um so on the one that I'd seen that was pre-loved and uh, that I said was a little bashed up, it was actually on the corners here. Um, I think it was this corner, um, like had worn away completely. And there was like the underside of the canvas kind of poking out and they were charging like a hundred pound more than retail price. Well, no, no, it was 345 pounds they were charging. And I know it had that little bit of damage on the corner, but it also had uh, like a like a little dent mark kind of thing. Like it, these are things that you would not notice unless you were like really inspecting it close up with a magnifying glass. But I mean, nonetheless, it's still damaged, you know. Um, 
it just goes to show that these limited edition pieces they really do maintain their value and go up in value and people like me <laughs> we're willing to pay you know because they're so sought after and they're hard to get and that, like i love when louis vuitton does these like you know limited edition colors i just think they're so fun um what might be useful is if I show you some size comparisons between these um, and some other like more popular pieces. Um, so I dug out a few things. So I haven't done my unboxing on this one yet, but this is the Louis Vuitton Recto Verso, I think it's called. Um, this is another coin card holder. I'm obsessed with these things. Now I've discovered uh, these flat... This one's the one I've been using for the last year or so. Um, this is a, a Saint Laurent Fragments um, card case. I love this thing. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, I will not go back to a normal purse or wallet now since using these. But now I've discovered these. I kind of want one in every colour to go with every bag and every mood. Um, so this is like, I love this thing. Look at the colour of that is absolutely awesome and as i said i've been using this non-stop for at least a year probably two years to be fair uh and there is literally no bumps no grazes no scratches no tarnishing this thing looks as good as it did the day that i got it and people say that I, i've i've heard recently people kind of poo-pooing seller on a little bit that I literally have no complaints whatsoever. I have I have a lot of Saint Laurent items and I haven't had a single problem with any of them, touch wood, because I don't want to have a problem with any of them because I love them so much. But yeah, this thing is fantastic. So anyway, this is the uh, fragments. I'll quickly show you those two together. So the Louis Vuitton is slightly bigger than the fragments. Um... That is the size difference between those two. Then we have the Recto Verso there. Uh, almost, I think this one's slightly longer, but around about the same. So just slightly longer here. Um, just the Rosalie. I think this is the Rosalie uh, Louis Vuitton little purse um like this that is the size difference there and what have i got i've got my chanel card case here um around about the same height and a lot of difference in the length there so I will throw up some details um, from the Louis Vuitton website about these card cases. Um, so, as I said, this is called the Louis Vuitton coin card holder. Uh, the colours are now just called silver and red. And at the time of me filming this, both of them are available. But I would suggest if any of you want one of these to kind of jump on it sooner rather than later. Because if they sell out, believe me, these things are impossible to get hold of afterwards. Like, it's a nightmare. Um, and also, you know, you have all the price increases. So... I would always suggest that, you know, if you see something that you really fall in love with, get it now, because if you don't, you'll just regret it. Um, so with these, they are, ti it's the Tiger Rama line, um, and it is deep dyed tiger leather and a monogram canvas in a matching colorway. Small enough to fit into most pockets, the sleek functional design Include so slots for credit cards, a zipped coin pocket, and a compartment for banknotes. And the length of these is 
8 by 14.5 by 1 centimetre. Um, and it is monogram coated canvas with tiger cowhide leather, textile lining, not a leather lining. Um, four card slot, silver coloured hardware, zipped compartment for coins and a flat compartment for banknotes and receipts. So that is, I mean, there's not really much more to say other than that. Uh, they're simple, functional little card cases. One thing I will mention is that these are actually from the men's section. Um, they are, yeah, classed as men's things. And Louis Vuitton are also making um, a couple of other items in uh, these colourways. Um, I've seen in both uh, colourways a couple more SLGs. I believe there's a pocket organiser and I think a men's wallet and there's at least two bags for each um if i remember i'll put some pictures up in this video um but yeah there we go that is the two new tiger armor card holders from louis vuitton let me know which one you like the most and help me decide which one to keep because god knows i'm gonna need it I, I hate this because I literally don't know and I know what's going to happen. I'm going to end up keeping both when I really shouldn't do that. But they're so pretty. I just wish I could get hold of a pink one or a yellow one. Like, I feel like I'm kind of settling for the red a little bit, even though it's beautiful within its own right. The silver, I suppose, is different enough that... I don't feel like I'm compromising. It's different, you know. But I don't know. I'm going to have a good think about it. And um, I am going to be doing um, my SLG collection. Um, possibly my next video. But I do possibly have one more uh, sneaky little unboxing coming in the next week or so. That I'm so friggin' excited about. So either the next video or the one after that I'm going to do a full slg collection i've already been through all of my stuff pulled everything out and i've i didn't realize i had so many um so i might be adding two more we shall see um so i hope this helps some of you that maybe haven't seen these yet or was looking for um you know a video because i haven't seen very many of them um i do hope that this quality on this ipad is um okay and i am so sorry i've just realized i am still looking over here at myself um i'm, <laughs> I'm trying i am trying um so yeah i will go and have a think about this and i shall see you in the next one thanks for watching oh yeah and i never say this but please like and subscribe and do all the good stuff press the bell i need to rehearse this better because that was a mess but um yeah, that would really help me out if you could do that. Thank you very much. Bye.